Okay, so I just moved to New York and I'm trying to go grocery shopping and so I type in like grocery stores on my Apple Maps and like every fucking one I go to, like I'm walking too, like they're like this shit or like fucking like this. Like bro, that's not a grocery store. Like I'm trying to get like eggs, yogurt, like cheese, like shit like that, right? Like look at this place. <laughs> Ayo, Ak, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. The Aki way. <laughs> like, you know those TikToks? Like, I'm, I'm fucking doing it. Like, I've literally been to, like, five of those now. <laughs> and, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do for dinner. Like, where are the Kroger's and, like, the Whole Foods at? Like, I'm about to eat fucking, like, like cereal and ramen for dinner. Like, what the fuck? Where are the Kroger's and the Whole Foods at? sadder words and like i was on the, this guy's side a bit before i saw this and he's like whoa like i'm in the middle of a downtown core and i can't find a grocery store like you're going to convenience stores like well, yeah that's not gonna be the same as a grocery store well uh, why'd you move to new york city uh, well first of all walmart at times square i don't th there's no walmarts in new york um for first i don't think he's in a downtown center he's in like the south bronx i, I, I believe um, Isn't it all downtown, all of New York? <laughs> not when you're everywhere else. Not when you're in the Bronx, bro. Like the the okay. Bronx is uh, is a different beast. It's like it's Yankee Stadium, and then uh, the rest is like a shooting gallery of gang territory, sort of, <laughs> sort of, sort of. Okay, um, I think it is getting a quote unquote gentrified, as they say, a little bit. Um, but what's funny here to me, first of all, and this is probably pretty nitpicky, is that um, as bad as this sounds, use Google Maps. Don't use Apple Maps. That's your first problem. Secondly, these are things that you need to... Now, I'm, uh, let me just first... I don't want to bury the lead here. There's no reason this guy should have been fired. <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all. It's absolutely insane. And he's, he's, I think he's from Michigan, so he's not understanding the bodega lifestyle just yet. Um, and A, of course, you do not want to buy your groceries at a bodega. I've literally seen Brooklyn bodegas with like heads of lettuce in the store that if you move them, you see like a big brown spot. They've been sitting there for weeks. Um, but the bodega does take a little bit of getting used to, right? Like you can go order a bacon, egg and cheese. You can get a chopped cheese. That's probably what he should get for dinner is what a chopped is a cheese. What is a chopped cheese? A chopped cheese? Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, uh, a chopped cheese is like, how I describe it is... Uh, if a, a Philly cheesesteak and a cheeseburger mm -hmm. had a baby. So they have like this ground beef and then they put some cheese on it and then chop it all together and you can get whatever, you know, onions. Uh, what garlic. type of bun is it on? It's on a, you can either get it on a, a hero or a roll, which I think are pretty <laughs> New York specific as well. So the roll is more like yeah. a, you know, a, a six or eight inch sub type of thing. And then a roll, okay. of course, is just a little little round thing um so he's he's struggling it's his first couple of weeks in new york so he doesn't know what's going on um but i don't want to and you know me you know i love the bodega bacon egg and cheese and i don't really tolerate that sort of slander however <laughs> this guy being fired is absolutely insane he doesn't know what he's doing like he just got there i don't know why he chose to live well he probably chose to live in the bronx because it's the most affordable maybe outside of staten island but um it, it, it's it's awkward because on the one hand yeah you, you don't like dude go to go to trader joe's i'm sure there's a trader joe's up there or go to just a stop and shop or something and use google maps don't ask apple apples i mean look mm -hmm. i get it we don't want google running our life but when it comes to the maps i just personally think it's better so that's part of your problem and you just got to explore bro go talk to your coworkers go talk to some neighbors figure it out you you don't you can't just be like oh why, why are all these yeah there's bodegas on every corner so when it's snowing <laughs> when it's when it's snowing in new york you don't have to commute all the way to a grocery store you can get something real quick you could go get a you know a bacon egg and cheese or, or a sandwich or something so i guess to your point is um how you, you might you may have switched sides on this guy and i can see both sides of it like it's annoying that he can't find a grocery store and he's he's learning what a food desert is because everything is i'm sure it's <laughs> going to be tied to of course he's a racist but also the bronx is racist because it is a food desert so that's kind of a catch 22, right? A rock and a hard place as it were. 
Um, and yeah, bro, I don't, I don't think you should be, a really don't, don't go on social media begging for a whole foods because they're out there. You got to get your, you got to get on the train and you can go find a whole foods. It's not that hard to do. So don't go on social media pretending like, Whoa, all these, oh, everything on my map says, this says is a grocery <laughs> store, bro. You, you, that is your fault. You are an adult. You can figure it out but you also should not have been fired for complaining about the neighborhood. That's what I think. And you ask Siri about this. She's probably going to send you to, you know, here are some BIPOC owned <laughs> businesses in your area first and foremost. But Eric, I don't know. I, um, did you read the article, bro? Because they claim he got fired, not for these videos, but because he, before he moved there, he posted his job letter mm. uh, for his business. Or for he which is outreach like a sales business of some kind. So he, I guess he posted his. Excuse me, so much water. He posted his job, his employment letter that he got before he moved out there, and that's what they're claiming they fired him for. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. I read the article. I clicked on his TikTok. Unfortunately, I don't have TikTok on anything, so it was in the browser version. Whole lot of shirtless vids. Like the thumbnails <laughs> are him shirtless, so I can't get down with that. Um. It is TikTok, I guess. So I can't entirely say that he's not a, a douchey guy who's been, you know, if it wasn't this, he would have got fired for something else. But it sounds like a convenient excuse. But they say that they found that he posted his employment letter when he first started when they were, went looking for this video. So it's his own fault. Like You can't really do that. I don't think you can post contracts online like that without the other person's permission. I don't know. But they said they have a policy where you can't leak or share internal information like that he probably had an nda and he probably broke it by posting that i don't know why you would need to post it um without just like showing like just the part that says you've been accepted i don't know turn it up jordan